Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little crazy today, but today's video is going to be an eyebrow tutorial. After all this time, I'm finally doing an eyebrow tutorial. And I don't think I've ever done my brows on camera, maybe once or twice. I don't think I ever have, like like a full in-depth, like, brow, I guess, tutorial. I've never done that before. I've never even really talked about doing my brows. So, I have done the rest of my makeup up until I usually do my brows. So I usually do foundation, concealer, contour, set my face, all that good stuff, and then I do my brows. So that's what I have on my face right now. Today's video is going to be a brow tutorial. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it so I know that you do like it. And let's begin. Okay guys, so I finally got my hair done. You don't have to look at those terrible roots anymore. I actually decided to stay blonde. Um, I wanted to go ombre, which means like turning, well, my hairdresser, it's sombre, which is like your darker, your like natural colored roots, and then you can kind of have like highlights and like coloring, and it gradually fades lighter as, you know, your hair goes down. But when I asked her how much it would be to turn me ombre, she, it was a lot of money. So my husband and I just decided that we would keep me blonde for, uh, through the holiday season. And then after the holidays, probably around tax time, we'll see what we decide to do with this hair. But I did cut a little bit of it. I cut a good, uh, a good chunk of it off and I got a lot of layers in it, so. I'm so excited! So yeah, so like I said, um, I already have all the makeup on my face that I normally would when I get ready to do my brows. I usually do foundation, concealer, all that good stuff, and then I do my brows. So today I'm going to be using what I have been using on my brows forever. I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I believe like my first, oh, I'm sorry, I broke a nail. Don't pay attention to it. I believe like this is what I started YouTube with and I've just never really wavered from it. Um, I have tried the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. I really do like that one, but it's pretty expensive. I went to Walgreens last night, it was 13 bucks. So that's pretty expensive for a brow pencil, um, but I have tried it, I just don't have it today because I have the wrong color. I have blonde, but I should have gotten like a brunette or something like that. And yeah, so I don't have that one. Uh, what else have I tried for brow product products? I've tried the Wet n Wild like brow little kit. It comes with like a powder and a wax. I do like that one, but overall I've really been enjoying this pencil. Like I said, this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I have the color taupe and I do think that I need to go I do think that I need to go a little bit darker, but I'm just gonna use up what's left of this. In the next one, I will buy a darker one. So this is what I use. It's drugstore, it's $9.99 at Target, Ulta. I believe that's it. I don't think they sell NYX at Walmart. Maybe they do, but I really enjoy this. And then for a brow gel, I have been using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I have the color Soft Brownie Brows, and I also have Brownie Brows, which is like a brunette, because like I said, I've really kind of been into like darker brows, so I'm kind of transitioning that way. So I am not a brow, I guess, genius. I, I feel like I, very recently got good at brows. Like I feel like if you go back and look at my older Instagram posts or you look at my earlier YouTube videos, my brows, <laughs> they were not that good. <laughs> and I still struggle with them. So when I say that this is like a tutorial, like yeah, it is a tutorial on how I do my brows, but maybe you guys are in the same boat with me. Like the people that I talk to in like my personal life, like they all struggle with brows too. So. I hope that this helps you and I hope that this is informative, but just know that we're we're all in this fight together. Everybody sucks at brows. <laughs> so if you guys watching this video are like really good at brows and you have tips, tips and tricks, please leave them down in the comments because I am always, 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 always looking for like tips and tricks to, I don't know, get better at brows. But so far I'm pretty happy with where I am. My brows don't always match, but that doesn't really bother me. I'm gonna be honest, like eyebrows that perfectly match, they sometimes freak me out. Like sometimes I want them to be a little bit different, you know? 
So yeah, so I assume this video is gonna be a little, a little shorter just because I am doing my brows, that's all I'm doing. This is gonna be a talk through, so I'm gonna to talk to you as I'm doing it. And I am only using drugstore products. So to start, I really like a good, natural, I guess, feathery brow. But I don't really have brows that kind of allow that, if that makes sense. So again, if you go back and kind of watch my earlier videos or my earlier Instagram posts, I had even thinner brows than this. I mean, I would really, really get them waxed to, to nothing, just paper thin. So I have essentially stopped plucking and waxing my brows probably for the past like two or three months. And before I got on camera today, I just did go like right here and kind of pluck any um, like really bad stray hairs that were hanging out here. But overall, I'm really trying to let my brows grow out so I can kind of get them as thick as I naturally can. But I feel like with the products I'm using today, they, it does help it look a little bit more feathery and natural, but I think it's just a process. So who knows, we'll see what my brows look like in another couple months, but I feel like I'm getting there. <laughs> so this NYX brow pencil is a pretty waxy pencil, which is good. So when you're using a waxy pencil, it sometimes helps keep the brow hairs in place so you don't need to go in with a, um, brow gel because the wax of the pencil can sometimes help keep the brows the brow hairs in place and for the longest time like I said with my brows it has been a journey <laughs> and for the longest time I was just using this but I was never really like 100% happy with how my brows came out so I'm oh I was always trying to like you know look for something that would help me and that's where I came with with this and this I mean again you'll see me use it but this has little fibers in it and it really does help get oh my god please focus it really does help give the brow like a natural i don't know it just it fills in the brow with those fibers i guess is what i'm trying to say so yeah so let's uh let's actually begin so i guess the first kind of like tip really kind of my only tip that i have is i always try to stay far away from the mirror that I'm doing my brows in. Here's my, my mirror. Um, I never keep the mirror very close up like this. I always try to sit back from the mirror. And I don't remember who told me that. I feel like I read it in like a magazine when I was a teenager or something. Like when you're plucking your brows, make sure that you sit back or if you do pluck them very close to the mirror, always take every few minutes, take a, like a step back from the mirror and look at them because it's very easy to like kind of get carried away with plucking or even drawing them in. Um, so I always try to sit back from my mirror. I never really try to get up very close. The reason I like this pencil is this has a spoolie on it and it's definitely a pain in the bum to clean, um, which is why I don't do it that very often. But I really like brow products or um, brow pencils that are all in one. I, not that I hate it, like I, I like the idea of brow, brow pomades and stuff, but sometimes it's just a pain in the bum to have like a hundred different products just to do your brows, you know? Like to have a separate brush, to have your pomade, to have your gel, to have this, to have a spoolie, like that sort of thing. So I like that this is two in one. But I'm not totally like attached to it. Um, and I would like to try I actually want to try the BH Cosmetics Brow Pomade and the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. I really want to try those. So all I'm doing here is just brushing my brows out just so the hairs aren't like tangled and they just look a little bit, I don't know, better. <laughs> so to start, I just take my pencil and I start at the lowest point of the brow, if this makes sense. So the lowest part of my brow is right here. And I kind of just start with just kind of like hair-like strokes, very, very light-handed. And then I'll bring like from the lowest point, I'm sorry, this is so hard to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I get quiet. <laughs> um, but I take the lowest point and I kind of bring it out, like draw a line.
And then you can kind of see that that's uneven. Like that's not a straight line. So I will try to fix that. So now that we have that, I'm going to draw a line straight up. Again, very hair-like strokes, very light. And I don't go crazy in the beginning of the brow. Just a few. And then I start to fill in kind of my outline. So we can see this pencil is a little bit light for me. It's a little bit warm and it's a little bit light, but I feel like once we put the gel mascara, like the, the brow gel, it really does help. So once I get to kind of the tail of the brow, if that's what that's called, um, I pretty much just follow the line and I do extend it a little bit. And then up here, I just connect it. So now I take my spoolie, and this is so important, super, super gently, barely touching, just go through. Because if you press too hard, you will take the product right off your brow. I don't know if that happens to everybody, but it definitely happens to me. So this just kind of helps like spread the product through. And this is what I've kind of learned from a lot of other uh, YouTube, uh, tutorials on YouTube. Like I said, brows I always feel were my like my weakest point or like my weakest, I guess, skill when it comes to makeup. Um, but I definitely feel like I'm getting better. So again, this is nothing magic. This is just me learning a ton of, like watching a ton of tutorials and just practicing. <laughs> So now that I've brushed that through, I'm just gonna go in and fill in any parts that I feel are a little bit bare. Again, never any like long strokes, always very like flicking motion. And then again, very, very lightly. And this is also why I don't do my brows on camera normally because it just takes me forever. It probably takes me like 20 minutes to do my brows. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna start doing is in every tutorial or e pretty much every video, there will always be a link to this video in the description box. So if I'm doing a makeup tutorial and I do my brows off camera, you can always check it out. It'll be in the description box. And then, if, I don't know, in a couple months or even next week or two weeks, if I'm using new products and I feel like I need to do like kind of an updated brow routine, I will do that. So this is when I go in with the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This is $2.99. I got it at Ulta. Definitely check it out. It's really, really good. So it has, like I said, fibers on it. And I hope my camera will like allow you to see that. It has fibers on it, and this is there's so much product that comes out on this little wand, and I really think that you can see that. So what I do is I just kind of like rub off a lot of the product. I don't even know if this is in focus. So I kind of rub off a lot of the product like on the side of the jar or on the side of the tube because so much comes out like there's no reason to have this much okay so now i have my wand again very very lightly i'm just gonna brush this through and this just gives a ton of dimension to the brows 
and it also helps the hair stay in place. And I, I try to brush the brown hairs upward and kind of to the side so they look a little bit more natural. Again, my goal is a very natural, like feathery brow. Yeah, and that's uh, that's one eyebrow done. This is this is a good brow. <laughs> okay, I think I zoomed you in even more. So let me uh, let's do this eyebrow. I'm not going to talk during too much on this eyebrow, but but I will keep recording. So those are my brows and I think that they came out really good today um, and they're not that uneven so go me <laughs> so yeah guys so that's that's all I do for my for my brows um, I don't clean them up with concealer I don't do any of that good stuff um, what I like about this mascara is that if you mess up because I uh, not today but I have messed up and kind of gotten it down here if it's still wet you can kind of just flick it away and not it doesn't like smear everywhere if that makes sense it's very easy to clean up so you don't have to go in with concealer or anything like that but yeah that's uh that's my brow tutorial guys um I know that I you know I've said this a hundred times I'm not a makeup artist by any means but I just I feel like I've gotten a lot better at makeup since I've really been practicing and since I started YouTube really um so yeah I hope I hope that this tutorial helps you I hope that you get some good tips and tricks and I just I really love my brows because I feel like I don't have a lot of brow to work with so for me to get this type of brow makes me very happy. <laughs> so yeah guys, so that's it. I am gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna go eat lunch with my daughter. Um, but I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup. That's it for today's video guys. Please, honestly, if you have any good like brow tips and tricks, like, leave them in the comments because I'm all about it. Um, I'm happy with my brows, but I always feel like there's room for improvement. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say as always. Like I said in the beginning of this video, think about subscribing before we head out of here. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.